Oh, I thought it was pretty amazing that uh, Dr. Bart Corbin had been charged with murders that were 19 years apart and almost in identical circumstances. And I thought that was just an amazing scenario, you know, that he committed one murder with his girlfriend, Dolly Hearn, got away with it, thought he committed the perfect murder, and then way down the line starts a new life. And so every day, journalists who were following the story were outside the dental practice just waiting for something dramatic to happen, and one day it did. Um, Barton Corbin was indicted, and officers came to arrest him, and it was a dramatic scene in the middle of the street. He was taken out of his car, put into a police car. The family was adamant that Jennifer did not kill herself. And some of the things they said is that, you know, she had been planning for Christmas, she had been buying gifts for her children. You know, someone who's wanting to commit suicide is not planning for the future. She was planning pretty strongly for the future. And one of the big clues was where the gun was underneath Jennifer's body. The medical examiner thought that there's no way after you shoot yourself that you could be able to place a gun so far underneath your body. It's hard to describe the feeling in that courtroom. I mean, it was really emotional from, from the families who had waited so long, especially the Hearn family had waited so long. Just imagine what they've been through to hear Barton Corbin say that he had killed their daughter. But Barton Corbin, there wasn't much emotion. I mean, what do you say to two families that you've stolen so much from? I don't think there's anything that you can say that would be sufficient.